Home Manager modules are amazing. They provide us with convenience of being able to configure programs declaratively and make our configurations modular. But did you know that those same modules can also be used to declare personal per system differences? Maybe you'd like to have different wallpapers on two systems using the same configuration, include some small window manager specific config differences or even big personal shell extending options. Today we are going to make some simple home manager modules to make your configurations clean, easy to refactor and most importantly even more declarative. Let's begin with a regular home.nix file. The only thing we are going to do here for now is import a newly created module from a subdirectory called modules slash mymodule.nix. Naming is not important here, you can call it anything you want. Usually your personal modules look something like this, a simple file containing a function which has some home manager options declared in a set that it returns. This module for example creates a shell script in a home directory which uses sww to change our wallpaper to the one defined here. That is perfectly fine, but we want to add some custom functionality. How cool would it be if we simply exposed an option which could quickly change our wallpaper later? To do it let's wrap everything we have here in a config field and also declare an options field at the top. We have just separated our module's logic from the options that it will provide to us when we import it. Everything contained in a config field will still work the same way as it did before, so let's spice it up with our custom options. We will define a wallpaper option here, it will default to dot slash wallpaper1.png, have some description and a path type for extra confidence. Notice that both make option function and types come from home manager sleep field, which is going to be passed to any module in the parameter set, so don't forget to include it at the top. Our config part of the file can now make use of this option, so let's reference it in the script. Just like that, we can now return to home.nix or any other file that might import this module and simply add the wallpaper option assign it to some value or remove it completely to get a default one. Rebuild your home manager config and a script with your desired wallpaper will appear. Now changing your wallpaper is just a matter of editing one line in the entry module for a specific user. Not bad, but there are certainly more important use cases. Like defining monitors for example. Sometimes you have multiple setups with two or three monitors and you want to use the same configuration on all of them. If you were using Hyperland on a traditional Linux distro for example, this would mean creating a special script that would parse user specific files to get those monitor settings and then apply them on each startup with HyperCTL. That's not too bad really, but the Nix declarative way sounds much more clean to me. So let's begin by making another module file, which is going to hold some options. It doesn't matter if we separate options and their usage in two files, because Home Manager is still going to find everything as long as we import them somewhere. The monitors.nix module is also going to be a function which returns a set containing options.monitors. I must admit that this part was shamelessly borrowed from Mysterious 77's config, even if only partially for simplicity reasons. You can find a bigger and better example in the link in the description. This time our options type is much more interesting, because it's going to be a list of submodules, so we can later just list many sets containing fields in a single option. Submodules itself will also have an options field inside, which is going to contain options for each specific monitor. For example is width, height, refresh rate, x and y coordinates, and whether or not it is enabled. All of these options have their own types, so Nix can warn you if you screw up later. Import this module somewhere and open your Hyperlens Nix configuration. Hyperlens configuration file gets generated automatically based on the fields that you provide in the settings, so we will define a top level monitor field which has to be assigned to a list, because Nix sets can only contain one value, whereas Hyperlens config begins each monitor definition with a monitor keyword. The list itself is obviously going to be generated automatically using a built in Nix map function. It takes a function and a list as two parameters and applies the function to each element to get a new list. Basically, the same way as in any other programming language. Our function will build strings from monitors, so let's first interpolate the name into this string. The whole line will be pretty long, so we can use let and in syntax to define resolution and position on separate lines. They are also interpolated into the strings here, but notice that a toString built-in function is used to convert integer type values to strings. Finally, we can simply interpolate resolution and position into this string and also check whether or not the monitor is enabled to know if we need to put a disable word into the string instead. This cool piece of Nix code results in a correctly formatted hyperland config lines which can now be generated from as many monitors as you wish. There are obviously many more use cases for home manager modules, so experiment with your own configurations or even share your modules with other people to further expand the already giant ecosystem. Nix really sounds like a cult, doesn't it?
And now I would like to thank the sponsors of this video, specifically Victor Vintores for a 20 euro per month subscription, Hoskins for a 10 euro per month subscription, Linux Rocks for a 10 euro per month subscription, Not a Nut for a 5 euro per month subscription, and also JerOM for a 50 euro recent donation, Coffee Supporter for a 10 euro recent donation, a fellow Nix Joyer for a 6 euro recent donation, Meji00 for a 5 euro recent donation, Gaten LePage for a 5 euro recent donation, and Yogurt for a 1 euro recent donation. As usual, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.